Here's a snapshot of the EZ fields that I got after 2,000 time steps. We'll look at the EZ max fields in a moment. This looks about as we expect from our earlier simulations. Because the c-axis is limited, we primarily see the fields in the Earth Ionosphere waveguide outside of the PML. And here are the maximum EZ fields after steady state is achieved. This is about what we might expect. The fields are strongest near the transmitter. The fields decay to zero as we approach the reflection height of the ionosphere. Since several waveguide modes can be excited in the Earth ionosphere waveguide at 10 kilohertz, we can see the waves reflecting off the ionosphere at different angles. This plot includes all the propagating modes simultaneously and the interaction between them, so it's not easy to see the exact reflection angles of each individual mode. But what's going on over here around 450 grid cells from the transmitter, which is about 290 kilometers away? There is a region of dark blue, which represents small amplitudes. To look at this more closely, let's create a one-dimensional plot of only the EZ max fields along the surface of the Earth. So this will be with coordinate i, and this will be EZ max. So this will be versus distance away from the transmitter, so that we can examine the behavior of the received electric fields at different distances from the transmitter right along the surface of the Earth. So be right along here. Don't change how you're calculating EZ max. Just create a new one-dimensional plot of the EZ max results.